And we are moving into our here's something you should know about Metro Atlanta. Remember Rhodes Furniture? I don't think there are any Rhodes Furnitures um, around. I remember there was a big distribution facility on I-85. I used to go to a Rhodes Furniture that was on Pleasant Hill as I was growing up. Well, the Rhodes Memorial Hall, which is commonly known as Rhodes Hall, is a historic house located in Atlanta. It was built as the home of furniture magnate Amos Giles Rhodes. He was the proprietor of Atlanta-based Rhodes Furniture. The house occupies a prominent location on Peachtree Street and is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The inspiration of the hall is a Romanesque revival. It's inspired by the Rhineland castles that Rhodes admired on a trip to Europe in the late 1890s. After two years of construction, the house was completed in 1904. Rhodes Hall is one of the finest intact expressions of medievalism and late Victorian architectural design in Atlanta. The grandest feature is the magnificent series of stained and painted glass windows that rise above a carved mahogany staircase. Sounds beautiful. The house cost Rhodes $50,000 to build in 1904. Can you imagine? $50,000 in 1904. I wonder what that house would be worth today. It was wired for electricity when it was built, and it's a prime example of the fascination that new technology held for Atlantans at the turn of the century, uh, meaning indoor lighting. Over 300 light bulbs light the entire house. Also has electrical call buttons in most rooms as well as a security system. A security system in 1904. Among the materials used to build the home, the mahogany was from the West Indies and the exterior granite was brought over in 500 pound blocks in wagons from Stone Mountain. I am fascinated by how they used to build things out of granite. Rhodes Hall is now surrounded by commercial buildings and heavy traffic. It has survived damage due to careful historic preservation and restoration efforts after the death of Rhodes and his wife. Their children deeded the house to the state of Georgia uh, with a restriction that it be used for historic purposes only.